I lost my full-time job in March 2010. I was sure I'd have another within a few months. Three months went by, then four, five, and six. I took contract temp jobs to extend my unemployment, very soon hoping that another good job was just around the corner. By Christmas, I was scared that I would never find even a decent job ever again. I was sending out 10 to 20 resumes a week, going to job fairs and filling out applications in person with no results. The job market was quiet. By January, I was feeling alone and desperate. Um, how will I pay my rent or bills or buy essentials, let alone have luxuries like a car or savings? Carrie and Jesse Jane, my cats, both refused to work outside home. <laughs> Thanks to heartening words from relatives, friends, my pastors, and neighbors, I picked myself up and formed a new strategy. <clears throat> I headed to the Tualatin branch of WorkSource Oregon once a week from opening to closing. I filled out applications, sent out resume, and attended several workshops. The staff there encouraged me to take three ready, national career readiness exams. Why not? It was a challenge, and I love those. Because I took those tests, I was able to sign up for the on-the-job training workshop. This is for experienced workers who find themselves out of work, they're missing job-specific skills, or they want or need to change careers due to shifting markets. The National Career Readiness Certificate and the on-the-job training workshop combine to make the transition to a workplace easier on employers, <coughs> allowing funds for training. As the economy recovers, employers might want to hire a new person, but realize that someone from the already hardworking staff has to be pulled away from their job to help train the new person. It's expensive and time consuming to train a new employee properly. Job seekers want good paying full-time jobs with benefits. The frustration is on both sides. This was exactly what was happening with me. I felt empowered now. I reworked my resume and began searching not only just for a job, but for a career that I would love. Within two weeks, seven of the nine employers I had sent resumes to had contacted me. I had four interviews in one week. The following week, only three weeks after taking the on-the-job training workshop, and one year to the day I was laid off my full-time job, I landed a benefit-filled full-time great career at Mason, Bruce & Gerard, a natural resource consulting firm based out of Portland. I like my coworkers, enjoy my bosses, and I love my job. I would encourage everyone who finds themselves like me to sign up for these programs with WorkSource Oregon, and I'm thankful that businesses like Mason, Bruce & Gerard are putting Oregonians like me back to work. Thank you. So you've all seen the unemployment report. Uh, we are down a full percentage point in unemployment over the past six weeks. Uh, and Oregon is now out of double-digit unemployment since the first time uh, in December of 2008. Uh, we've created about 16,000 new jobs in this state since January, which gives us the seventh fastest job growth year-to-year uh, -year in the nation. This is clearly very, very good news for our state. Uh, and although we still have a long ways uh, to go, it's very clear that this recent revenue, forca re revenue forecast, as well as the fact that uh, employment has been up in five out of the last six months, is a good indication that the private sector is investing in equipment, in people, and plants, which is the single most important key uh, to creating private sector economic activity and uh, jobs for our citizens. So we have the opportunity this session to build on this strong start to create family wage jobs and to attract uh, new investment and to help revitalize particularly hard-hit communities. Uh, throughout the session, I've been working closely with legislative leaderships uh, on uh, a number of uh, budget and policy uh, priorities uh, that will continue uh, to improve Oregon's business climate. And I'm very grateful that uh, we have today leadership from both the labor and business to join me in urging the legislature uh, to act uh, and act soon uh, on my jobs and economy agenda to help further this uh, economic recovery. Uh, I think we all recognize and hopefully we're, we're beginning to talk more uh, openly about the fact that Oregon is a great place uh, to do business. Uh, and I'm convinced that if we continue to focus on education and training and proven job creation strategies and investing in innovation, that we can and will create a very prosperous and sustainable future uh, for Oregon.